Hey guys, and welcome to my little let's play of World of Tanks. Um, in this series, I'll be doing a short let's play of World of Tanks, just going through the tier system and seeing how I, how I do. Um, and for those of you who don't know what World of Tanks is, World of Tanks is a mass multiplayer online game uh, revolving around armored warfare uh, in the mid 20th century. So from uh, the dawn of armored warfare ish up to World War II and uh, a bit afterwards um, now the game works with you choosing a tank and, uh, and going out and killing others to get experience and money um, however um, in order to do this you need to work your way up a tech tree now the game itself has six tech trees China, a Chinese tech tree, a French tech tree, of course, a German tech tree, a British tech tree, an American tech tree, and last but definitely not least, the Soviet tech tree. Now, each tech tree has uh, its ups and downs. Um, so it really, so choosing your tech tree really depends on two things. First of which, how you play, and second of which, how much time you have. Of course, there are people who play through all the tech trees, but it gets pretty expensive pretty quickly, and so on and so on. So, in the beginning of the game, uh, you start out with six tanks. Now, obviously, I have a few more because I've played before. Um, and, um, yeah, so I'll do a short review of all of the... Uh, or of each starter tank and uh, play a battle in it. Uh, for this short, rather short episode, um, I will only do the Chinese tank, the Renault NC31, um, for time issues and because a short video is easier to upload than a long video. Uh, but don't worry, I will get to each one of them. So! The Renault NC-31, the first Chinese tank, the tier 0 Chinese tank. 100 hit points, which, while not the lowest um, of the hit points of the starter tanks, it's, it's down there. Um, your, en your starter engine power is 45 horsepower. Of course, you'll be able to upgrade that later on, up to 75, but this is what you start with, 45. Your speed limit then... It's 25 kilometers an hour, which is pretty slow. Not again, not the slowest, but it is down there. But your traverse speed is okay. It's average for starter tanks. Your your whole armor is 16 all around, so 16 in the front, 16 on the sides, and 16 in the back. This is again average. Your turret armor, so the armor on your turret, because it's a separate entity than the hull is 16 in the front, 16 on the sides, and 14 in the back. Uh, your standard shell damage and the shell penetration rate of fire uh, are all determined by the gun you've mounted. For the starter gun, the start, uh, standard shell damage is 23 to 38, depending on where you hit the tank and if you hit the tank. Your standard shell penetration is 22 to 36, meaning that's how much armor you can penetrate. So if you're fighting uh, another uh, Renault NC-31, um, you should penetrate unless you bounce or miss. We'll get into that later. Your rate of fire for this gun, the starter gun, is 24 rounds a minute. And your turret turns, so the traverse speed, at 38 degrees a second, which is average. Your view range for, the, for this uh, turret is 250 meters, however, just like the gun and the engine and everything. Uh, that is upgraded once you upgrade the turret. Not by much, but every bit is, is useful. And your signal range, as always, is 90 meters because, look at that, signal flags. But once you upgrade it, it goes up to 300 meters. So this tank, um, in my experience, because I've played a bit through the Chinese tier, or tier system, but not a lot, uh, this tank is average. Um, it's not good, but uh, it's not the worst. 
again, I haven't played a lot in the chi uh, Chinese tier system, but, you know, hey. So, with this tank, there are a few, or with all tanks, there are a few spots that you're going to want to watch out for. These are the uh, weak spots. Uh, on all tanks, that's the tracks, which if you hit, which these tracks are pretty big, actually, so they're not that hard to hit. If Sometimes, if you hit a uh, track, somebody can hit you for critical damage, which is uh, you become immobilized. They shoot off a track. Um, with, just as most critical, or all critical damage, uh, it is healed over time. So it takes a few seconds uh, until your tracks are up and running, but then after that, you cannot go full speed anymore. And with this tank, with 25 kilometers an hour as an absolute speed limit, you're in trouble. Other weak spots on this tank include uh, this hatch up here uh, of the engine, the hatches in the back of the turret, this thing up top, and just this whole mess of whatever this is in the back. Um, its strengths are it has a bit of sloped armor and as I mentioned earlier with uh, bouncing shots if a shot comes in from this angle, for example, chances are it'll be bounced because it doesn't hit a flat surface. If a shell hits a flat surface on a tank, it's more likely to go through the armor than if it hits a uh, slanted... Uh, excuse me, that's my phone. Than if it hits a slanted section of armor. And, um, yeah, if you bounce a shot, uh, or if somebody else bounces a shot off of you, consider yourself lucky and if you bounce a shot off of someone else uh, that's a shame so um, for this battle I'm just gonna play it in whatever you get first obviously I have everything else so um, I, I've unlocked everything I could attach or I could uh, put my tank or put all the most uh, the best stuff in the tank, but I won't just for the sake of uh, this. Yeah, just this uh, let's play. So with that said, let us um, let's go. So the way the battle system works in this game is uh, you're paired up with other players who are waiting, and in this case, you're tier one, and. Um, we're going to be playing with all the other new-ish players, or players who play Tier 1 tanks. As you progress, you'll realize that uh, slowly you'll be mixing with more higher tier game, uh, players, and so on and so on. Especially in the SPG uh, category, and the Tank Destroyer category. Which is okay, because those guns are usually stronger. So as you can see here on the screen, um, our NC-31 is... Uh, highlighted towards the bottom of the list. That doesn't necessarily mean that we're going to lose right away. I probably will, but hey, uh, can't ask for much, you know. So, as you can see, we start off, uh, both teams start off at base, and um, we'll see what happens. So, my uh, the first thing I'm going to want to do is rush forward up to that corner up ahead. Now, over there. Time to roll out. That's usually where all the players meet and shoot off. And whoever wins there uh, makes it to the other team's base, usually. That's just how this map goes. So, we'll follow this other guy. And he is in a French tank. Renault FT. Which is a, it's, it's a nice tank, but we'll review that in another video. And telephone. Okay, and we will kind of wait here for our allies to catch up. Whoa, the lag! Jesus Christ. As you can see, an enemy of my or a friend of mine has spotted the enemy. Now, that means that I spot the enemy because of the radio range. Handy. Okay, now we're gonna hide behind cover and aim down the street. And hope we don't get raped. Because being raped is never pleasant. 
I don't know what the hell the team is doing. Usually they all come team up down here, which there's one there. Looks like a medium, but whatever. To each their own. I'm already on I'm already on the spot. And it looks like they're coming down the road. Oh the lag is terrible. Oh, look at that. An enemy tank down the road. Looks like that one went right through. Got him. Got That's him gotta hurt. See, he's missing because I'm behind cover and he's no. That's gotta hurt. That and because the British medium is a giant hunk of shit. Uh, it's not. And that last shot missed. I got some damage in. More than he can say. Alright, I'm on out. That's right. Oh, what a... What a shame. That's gotta hurt. Him again. Come on. And will that do it? No, it won't. It missed. Oh, someone stole my kill. Such a shame. Oh well. That's good. We're winning by a lot. So that's nice. Oh, another one. Look at that. Oh, I missed. Barely. Oh, well. I'm not going to blame it on lag. I should have uh, taken that into consideration. Alright, what are you doing? Some asshole is pushing me out of the way. What a dick. Whatever. But that's, that's it. This guy is a serious dick, and I hope he dies. <laughs> Even though he's a teammate, he is a dick. That's one thing you notice in lower tier games, is that people uh, tend to be assholes. It's fine. I'm an asshole too. We're all assholes. Alright, so. I'm going to try to push ahead because nobody else seems to be doing that. And you can see there's an enemy down there, and I'm just going to try to rush past the street because there's no point in getting involved in the fight. Well, actually, no. Let's try to take him. Never mind. Too late. Now, this is kind of a capture the flag game ish. Thing. Um, you basically have to take care of the enemy base, and that is done uh, depending on time. Oh, hello. What are you doing over there? I guess we took the hill. A lot of times players will say, take the hill, take the hill, because it's, um, it's better. So, whatever. Oh, look at that. There's a target. And it looks like he just didn't play. Okay. There's a player in there too, the cheeky little bastard. No, that didn't hit him. No. And look at that, that's game. We killed all the tanks. Fun, 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 fun. So, yeah, that was a pretty overwhelming victory. And look at that experience. Damn, son. With and decent amount of money. At this tier, that's a, that's a good amount of money. So what you can do with that is come down here and upgrade your uh, stuff. So I'm going to upgrade the turret first. Yes. See, he's rounder, so more chance to bounce a shot. And then I'm going to look at what does what. This does uh, more damage, so we're going to put that on. Next up, we are going to go for the stronger engine, 75 horsepower, of course, better suspension, and better radio range, because uh, I like to know where the enemy is. So yeah, that was this episode of uh, 
my World of, uh, World of Shanks uh, Let's Play. Um, for next time, we will either play the French tank or play another game of this with everything upgraded as it is. Uh, also, I will try to get a higher frames per second because 11 is, or 10 frames per second, 11 is not uh, not acceptable, <laughs> to say the least. So, uh, thanks for watching, and um, hopefully see you next time. Thanks.